Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and today we're going through my spring capsule makeup collection. What that means is, instead of reaching through my whole entire giant collection of makeup, I pulled out all of the things that I think I'm going to be grabbing for the most this spring, put them into this little tray here, and this sits in the top drawer of my desk, which is where I sit to do my makeup every day. Um, and I've got kind of a few selections from each category in here. There's really a mixture of items in this tray. Some are my holy grail items that are tried and tested I absolutely love and some items that are brand new that I'm just now testing out for spring. You all know my look is very low maintenance, kind of no makeup makeup, very glowy, soft, blended, um, but I do have a few items in here for when I prefer to do a more dramatic look as well. I'll start with complexion first and work my way across the face in the order in which I would apply the products. Like I said, some of these are my holy grail items and you've seen me use them in videos in the past, so I will try to put in as many cards using as many of these products as I can throughout the video. I've only got one primer in the drawer. This is Le Blanc de Chanel. This is their illuminating makeup base. I just picked this up about a week and a half ago and I've worn it practically every day since then. Not only under my makeup, but I do like to mix it in with my foundations to sort of give them a sheer glowy effect. This smells amazing. It smells like Chanel makeup. It smells just like the La Beige powder. So far so good with this product. I really like the way that it gives my skin great glow, but it's not oily or greasy glow if that makes sense. It just brightens up the skin. I've got two foundations to talk about today. Both come from Lancome. The first one is my everyday foundation. This is Taunt Miracle. I wear the shade 140N and this is a very lightweight but I wouldn't call it too sheer, it's more of a medium coverage foundation. I like to put one pump of this on the back of my hand with half a drop of the Le Blanc de Chanel, mix them together, and I apply it with a flat kabuki brush. For me, it's perfect every day because it gives me the right blend of coverage and glow and comfortability and it wears really well throughout the day without a whole bunch of powder on top of it. When I need a bit more coverage, I reach for this one. This is Taunt Idole Ultra Makeup Stick in the shade 140 as well. That's my color across the board with Blancome foundations. I really like this because it is so user friendly. It's just a makeup stick. You literally draw it right onto your face. You can blend it in with your fingers, a beauty blender, or a brush. I, again, like to use a flat kabuki brush with this. And this is the first ever matte foundation I've actually enjoyed to wear. It just looks very natural and flawless. And this is something I can definitely see myself enjoying for summer, especially for travel, because it is literally so dinky. Um, it pops right into the makeup bag. It doesn't take up too much space, and you can use it as your concealer as well. Speaking of concealer, I've got two to talk about today. The one I'm wearing now is this from NARS. It is the Radiant Creamy Concealer in Light 2 Vanilla. This is amazing if you want full, flawless coverage. I've got this on under my eyes as well as around my nose and on a few blemishes. This is amazing for coverage. This has been one of my holy grail concealers for quite a while. And then the other one I have here is the Lancome Effacerns Waterproof in the shade 210 Light Buff. This is a little bit softer and more natural. Sometimes this is what I'll reach for when I don't want to wear a full face of foundation. And I just kind of have key areas that I want to cover up because it is lightweight and blendable like a foundation. And it also works really well as an eyeshadow primer because of the waterproof kind of texture. Another brand new item to me is this from Lancome. It is their Miracle CC Cushion Color Correcting Primer in the shade 3 Pinky Peach. I picked this up a couple days ago from Sephora while I was looking at their whole new color correcting section. And I ended up picking this one up because I liked the cushion idea and the packaging is just so adorable. This you can can use with the little sponge that comes with it. I prefer to use it with a concealer brush because I think it puts the pigment on a little bit better and I apply this just before a concealer. Obviously I've only got one powder in here and it is Chanel Le Beige. This is my absolute holy grail powder. I love it so much. I'm not going to harp on about it because you've seen me use this probably in 40 or 50 videos. My leg is asleep. Why my leg. Now moving on to cheeks. The first thing I have to talk about is this cream blush from Bourjois. This is in the shade 3 Rose Tender. It is a very soft, natural pink. Um, and everyone needs a good pink blush for the spring, but I do have a couple of other colors of blush as well. The blush I reach for most days is Miel Glacé from Lancome. It looks a little bit like nothing in the pan. It looks a little bit boring and beige, but when you blend it on the skin, it suddenly gets a little bit warmer. It's got a nice luminosity to it, and it leaves the cheeks looking nice and fresh. The last blush I have is in a palette. This is a blush subtil palette, which is a contouring set from Lancome in the shade Nectar Lace It's got the contour shade, which is a nice ashy color a peachy blush and a 
warm highlight. I saw my friend on YouTube, Laura Newseth, use one of these in a video and I absolutely fell in love. The one she used was a little bit more pink which suited her skin tone very well and I chose this one because it was a little bit warmer and I really like peachy blushes um, and I absolutely love it. It's a great contour shade. Speaking of contouring, I've got a cream contouring product in here as well. This is the Le Duo from Lancome. It again has a really great ashy shade and a really beautiful pearlescent shade. This is sort of what I reach for more often than not when I'm contouring because it looks so subtle. This is my favorite contouring product of all time because it looks so believable on the skin. Obviously you didn't think I was going to skip bronzer, did you? This is the Star Bronzer in the shade Natural Matte 02 Sun Kiss. This is just a great bronzer color. I have it all over my face today and down onto my neck. I've used this in a few videos in the past, so I'm not going to talk too much about it, but everyone needs a good matte bronzer for spring. Now onto eyes. I don't normally do my eyes up in eyeshadow every single day, but when I do, I like to have something quick and easy to grab. And this one from Bare Minerals is called the Power Neutrals. It's got a bunch of matte and shimmer shades, and it even has a good eyebrow shade, and it's also good for contouring the eye socket as well. Um, so it's just kind of something easy to grab. I probably won't use it all that much, but it's great to have on hand. I've got two bottles of dark brown Definisils, one in the regular formula and one in waterproof, which I've been really liking lately. I've been a regular mascara wear for such a long time, but since I really like to give my lashes a good curl, I found that the waterproof does really help to hold the curl much longer. When I want to have a bit more fun with my eyes, I do have a liquid liner in here as well. This is a metallic taupey shade. If you watched my metallic liquid liner video, you'll recognize this. This is Art Liner in the shade Ice Black. I've got three brow products, only two of which I use for brows. The other one is Sorceal Tint. It's a brow marker. I like to use this to draw freckles on my face. For my actual eyebrows, I've got two shades. One is a little bit lighter and the other is a little bit darker. The lighter one is It Cosmetics Super Skinny Brow Power in the shade Universal Blonde. This is what I have on my brows today. And when I prefer my brows a little bit darker, I use Medium Ash from Lancome. Now onto the last category, which is lips. This was the hardest category to break down into one of each. I picked one neutral gloss, one colored gloss, one neutral lip, one colored lip, and one balm. So kind of have one of everything, but my lip drawer isn't too far away for when I change my mind. The balm that I have here I've used for over a year, but if you're more recent to my channel, I don't think I've mentioned it in a video in quite a while. This is from YSL, and it's one of the Volupt Sheer Candies, and this is in the shade Dewy Papaya. For lipstick, I've got two colors. The first one is Pink in the Afternoon from Revlon. This is my color lip option. I bought this in the winter and I wasn't feeling pink yet in the winter But I put this in here in hopes that I will get more wear out of it for spring This is rumored to be the shade that Audrey Hepburn wears in my favorite movie breakfast at Tiffany's and when I read that on a blog online Obviously I went out and bought it that same day um, And it is a really beautiful shade. I'll try and use it in a tutorial soon so that you can see it um, but yeah, I just hopefully will get more use out of that for spring. And the nude that I have is a La Absolute Rouge in the shade Beige Mirage. This you've seen me use in a few videos. For me, this is the perfect shade of nude. It's not too cool, it's not too warm, it's not so overly pigmented that I feel like my face is washed out, but it does give me enough pigment to take the natural pinkness out of my lips and just leave them very neutral. And the last two items are both glosses. These are both brand new to me. This I've had for about a week, and this I've had for like three hours. This is the... Clarence Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. I've worn this practically every single day since I bought it. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. It feels so good on the lips. It doesn't feel sticky at all. And it just leaves the lips looking nice and dewy but not like overly glossy and wet, and I'm I'm into it. The last item showed up in my mailbox just a few hours ago. This is the Lancome Juicy Shaker. You all can tell probably that I am a Lancome fan and I absolutely love their cosmetics. I am so hyped for this product. I've seen so many videos um, of international YouTubers use them because they're out in some other countries, just not here in America yet until April 21st. And then I saw Tati open every single shade and smell them and swatch them and play with them and I got even more excited. And this showed up in my mailbox today. I was actually getting in the car to leave when I saw the mailman drop a package off and I was like, I wonder what that is. I should open it now and I'm so glad that I did because I squealed like a little girl and the first thing I did was flip down the visor in my car and just like pretend I was Lisa Eldridge and put this on and it is 
so amazing. It smells so good. It feels so good. Not sticky at all. It is a dual phase or a bi-phase lip oil. So if I hadn't been shaking it for the last five minutes, you would see a layer of pigment and a layer of oil. And you just kind of shake them together and mix it up. And it looks like a little, okay, bye. That was disrespectful. Throwing stuff around. And obviously it's called Juicy Shaker because it looks like a little cocktail shaker and you have to shake it up. And I am so ready for these to come out in April. You know I'm already like looking online at all of the swatches. There's like four that I want really bad. Freedom of peach, um, whichever the orange one was meant to be. I'm so honey, I think is one of them. I just, I want, I want them all. Anyways, enough of me rambling about lip gloss. Um, that is it. This is the video. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you want to see this every season when I switch out items for summer and for fall and for winter, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and leave that in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for items you think I would enjoy this spring, leave those down there as well. While you're down there, open up my description box because I'll have a link to everything that I talked about today that is available in the description box for you to click on and to check out. Also look down there for my social media. If you don't get enough of me here on YouTube, you can check me out on Facebook. You can also check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All of those things are at John John Talks. Click on my face now if you're not already subscribed to my channel and you'd like to be here every Monday and Thursday to see my new videos. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. And just think about where the sun would naturally hit your face and where freckles would naturally occur for you.